Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. Today I'm going to be redoing the thermal paste on an Xbox One. This stuff dries up after time and can cause some overheating issues. Anyway, let's start the teardown. Alright, here it is. Most times you look for screws under the rubber feet. <laughs> Don't do that, there's none there. Instead, just pry up on this vent on the side. Once up, it slides back to come out. From here, there's access to those wonderful clips. Then say goodbye to that anti-tamper sticker. This side is pretty easy to get, but we'll want to keep that wedged open. Now I always have an issue with these clips. If anybody has any tips for opening these any easier, let me know down in the comments. Now, be careful opening this up. There's a ribbon cable that needs to be unplugged first. This part slides up and down to lock that cable in place. Next, we'll remove the Wi-Fi card and cable. And then plug that speaker wire too while we're at it. Now we'll remove those eight screws holding down the upper shield. You don't have to remove the three screws holding the connector for that Wi-Fi card. From here we can just start removing everything that isn't screwed down. With all of that out of the way, let's remove this front board. Next, we'll remove the remaining screws from the bottom. Don't forget this little guy on the side like I did. With all that, the motherboard should slide right out. I recently learned I've been doing this wrong. I guess those are T9 Torx screws that can easily be removed. Anyway, here's the hard way to do it. Alright, so this is the thermal paste that needs to be changed. I'll clean the old paste with denatured alcohol. A higher percentage isopropyl alcohol or an electronic cleaner will work just as well. Now I'm not going to worry about getting all that cleaned out. If you want to though, a toothbrush and some more cleaner will do the trick. It looks clean enough for me. 
When applying new paste, I personally like to use the X pattern. With the new thermal paste, it's time to put everything back together. Normally at this point in time in my videos, I'll be cleaning the fans and the shell. However, my buddy Marty over at Liberty Land has taken really good care of his council. Alright, so before putting the Wi-Fi card back on, make sure and get that long shield screw in first. I'll be coming back for that in a little bit here. Ah, see? I finally figured it out. <laughs> And this little guy here likes to fall out, so let's keep an eye on him. Don't forget to plug that ribbon cable back in before putting the shell back on. Hey, you, get back in your home. Now I'll still hit this with the blast of air to get some of that loose dust off. Otherwise, we are done. <laughs> 